All right, so in this question, we are given a formula, x equals 1 divided by y, and we want to see which of the following statements is true for this formula. Now, let's take a, let's take a look at option A. All right, so option A states, when x is positive, y is greater than 1. Now, let's pick a positive value for x. Let's say x equals 2, and we want to find the value of y. We can multiply, we can flip both of them to have it to isolate y and have its reciprocal, or we can multiply y on both sides. And we have 2y equals 1. And we can isolate this y by dividing 2 on both sides. And now we have y equals half. All right, so here we are given a value, a positive value for x and a value for y that is less than 1 and not greater than 1, like stated in, in option A. Therefore, A will be eliminated, and we can move on to option B. All right, now in option B, they are stating when x is positive, y is less than 1. Now, let's take a value for x that is still positive. Let's say it's 1 third equals 1 over y. Now, as you can tell here, y is going to equal 3, and therefore, this option is also going to be eliminated because they are stating that y is going to be less than 1. So this statement is not necessarily true and therefore it will also be eliminated. Now let's move on to option C. When x is negative, y is greater than 1. All right, now when x is negative, this is never true because y will always have to be negative as well. It cannot be a positive number if x is negative. Let's show an example. If we pick x to be negative 2, we have 1 divided by y, and if we again multiply y on both sides, we have negative 2y equals 1. Now we can divide negative 2 on both sides, and we have y equals negative half. And therefore, if x is a negative number, y will have to be also a negative number. And that's why c is also eliminated, and let's check why d is correct. When x is negative, y is less than 1. Now, y is less than 1 also means that it's going to be in the negative range. It can also be in the negative range. So this can be a little bit misleading, but it is still a true answer. So x, just like we said last time, just like we said in option C, we stated x to be negative 2, and we have 1 divided by y, and we said that y is going to equal a negative half. All right, now all all negative values for x will give us negative values for y, and that's why d is going to always be correct, and this y is going to be less than 1 is also correct, but you also have to remember that y cannot be in between 0 and 1, because this range is a positive range, and therefore it's going to be less than 1, which is correct, because the less than 1 is also considered negative values.